it's not really mixed in. Good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. It's Monday and we are still in dance competition hangover mode. I actually have been sitting here enjoying a nice long bath, trying to get my sore muscles to recover from the crazy that was last weekend. And I thought we weren't gonna be vlogging today, which is why I look like I do. But Eloise just came up and informed me that she's starving and she was planning to do the keto challenge today. And what should she eat for breakfast? And I went, Oh man, we're vlogging today. <laughs> so, welcome back to the vlog everyone. Today, Eloise is doing the keto challenge to see what it's like to be mom. And I just sent her down to make herself an egg, two pieces of bacon, and some 5% yogurt. So hopefully she's gonna get that made. She may end up having to take the camera and vlog it herself. I don't know how much longer I got to go on this mask, but she'll probably be done before I get it done. This is a nice hydrating mask. I love it. It makes me feel so much better. It makes my dry skin really, really soft. So that's why I do this mask. But anyway, good morning. This is awkward. <laughs> Welcome back to Hide and Seek. Hi, guys. So today, um, I decided that I wanted to do the keto challenge. Last time Ruby did it, and the next day she was broke. Um, so, I'm gonna do it. So, my first thing, we did not have bacon today. So I'm just gonna start my breakfast my breakfast off with some an egg, cheese, and yogurt. And yeah, let's see how my day goes. Hopefully well. So I tried to cook my egg and this is how it turned out. Terrible, I know. There's one thing I forgot to say. Yes, I still got makeup on, if you can see it. I can't really see, but it's under my eyes. Got makeup on, and my hair's stolen. So I got my breakfast, I got one egg, um, a thing of cheese, got some yogurt. Um, yeah, this is all that was left in the yogurt. So that's all I got. So here's my breakfast. It's gonna be really good. I think you should do the challenge. It's good. You get to eat. Um, it's not really mixed in. Mm -hmm. It's good. Wait. My thumbs up has to be Jasper thumbs up. Okay, so we don't want to make the same mistake that we did with Ruby and not start you on sodium supplementation right away because adults can go a couple of days apparently without salt, but Ruby was dead the next day and I don't want that to happen to you. So I have made up this electrolyte drink. I have put about 1,000 milligrams of sodium in this. So you don't want to drink it all at once because your body probably can't handle that much. And some apple meal. I want you to taste it and see if you think it's good or do you need more apple in it? Okay, it's not going to be the best flavored thing on the planet, it's salt and apple. But So basically your goal is to drink that whole thing by the time you go to dance, but I want you to just take sips throughout the day. If you start to feel hungry or if you feel antsy for sugar, the salt will help that. So if you start to be like, oh, I really want something sweet, then you should turn to the drink and try and get some more salt in. Yeah, Because like, I know you were saying that a minute ago. 
It's hard chicken watching. Nuggets. Yeah, it's hard watching the other kids eating chicken nuggets and corn dogs and. But you you got to eat eggs and cheese, which is really yummy, and yogurt. So. She didn't much love the eggs and cheese. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do keto if you don't really love keto foods. This is going to be interesting. All right, I'll see you again at lunchtime. It smells like real pizza. Gosh, it's hot. It's hot. I'm sorry. I just barely made it. Good. All right. Dad's going to take you guys to dance today instead of me so that I can work on vlogs. What do you got there, Eloise? Peanuts in case I'm hungry at dance. Okay. So she's taking a pack of peanuts with her. She just had her lunch. Do you want a pack, Virginia? She's like, I'm a little jealous right now. I want to get some peanuts for me. All right, cool. So you guys are going to go pro your classes, yes? He's smelling my gum. Okay, well, you can have some gum, too. You're going to go orange. You're going to go pro your classes? Yes. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have fun. Bye. So I'm sitting here editing videos. It is such an awesome day. Can I just say, I want to be outside. It is so nice today. It's really, really warm outside, and it's the birds are singing, and I might actually be spring. But I'm sitting here editing videos, and I look over at the couch, and I see something that is not making me happy. Let me show you. Yeah. This is her Soleil water. That is all she has drunk. It was full. That is all she has drunk the entire day. There's only 1,000 milligrams of sodium in here. She really needed to drink, like, two of these, probably, I've warned her and warned her and warned her that tomorrow she's going to wake up feeling literally like the worst she's ever felt in her life, but she's not listening. Putting kids on keto is harder than one might think, and I didn't even really want to do it. They talked me into it because they wanted to do what mom does, but I tried to explain. It's complicated, and I know people online that put their kids on keto and they don't do the supplements, but, but Ruby got so sick, I'm really worried that she's going to get sick too. Get something? Yeah, I forgot to record my food. So I forgot and you forgot to record your dinner. What did you have for your keto challenge dinner? Steak. Like a whole steak. Like a huge steak? Dad says you ate like a nine ounce steak. Well, I like a huge one. That's insane. I ate a five ounce steak for dinner. You ate like almost twice as much. And for breakfast and lunch, you didn't even finish your food, and it was making me cry because I hate watching my food go to waste. And then for dinner, you ate a whole flippity flap and steak. I guess I was more hungry at dinner. <laughs> so, what's this here you, that you've got here? A mint cake. A keto cake, huh? With mint frosting. It's chocolate cake. It's muscle. Mint frosting. They call it peppermint patty flavor. They do not ship out of state, but they do have deliveries in ooh, Vegas and St. <laughs> George. Really? Yeah. They have like an extra a little factory down there, and they do a Vegas and St. George trip, like delivery thing. 
All right, so we'll see if she likes it. It's a completely sugar-free, only two or three net carbs. It's kind of frozen because it was in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Didn't microwave it quite good enough. <laughs> Do you want to microwave it a tiny bit more so that it tastes a little better? Because it tastes better when it's not so frozen. So what did you think of your day on keto? Now that you're shoving a ton of food in your mouth. <laughs> Good grief. Um, take a bite already and not inhale it. There, there you go. So not too bad. Did you ever get the sodium down? Some of it. Probably not enough. I didn't collect this much. Yeah, but you needed like two of those. I'm afraid it's still not going to be enough. Probably more than this. I don't so, the whole bottle, but it's still more. So what's your plans for tomorrow? Are you going to do keto again, or are you done with keto? Uh-oh. You don't know? It's hard to decide because my... I want Del Taco tomorrow. <laughs> but then, keto's so fun. It's like... Keto's it's fun? Why is it fun? Because... It's good food. Because you get to eat the stuff mom eats. It's not that it's... It's just because it's mom's food, right? Also yogurt. Like, <laughs> like when I was a kid, my mom used to eat um, this really yummy, healthy whole wheat bread. And I always wanted to eat it because it was her bread. And it was her diet bread. So is that why you like to eat keto? Because, like, that's what mom does. And it's not what you guys normally get to do? Yeah. Also, because the yogurt's good. Well, you could still have yogurt if you really wanted to. It's just I have to make sure I have yogurt because I have to eat it every day. All right. I'm a, so I'm a mess now. You are a mess. I know. Take that sugar. Oh, oh, there goes the frosting. The best part. They sell the frosting by the tub. <laughs> All right. I don't know how much more of this we can stand. Thank you for... <laughs> You've got frosting in your hair. What? It's all over in your hair. Okay, anyway. Okay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And seek your truth. <laughs> Bye, Secrets. Find us later. You are so weird. <laughs> I know. Bye.